going to a birthday party. Just thought I'd check in. Stress is from the gap. You can like do this, which I have a bra because sometimes it feels funny not to have a bra or I'm just gonna leave it up. Um, you're very far away. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I would do this because I did an unboxing video this morning. This is a super, this is what I would call, it has pockets, which is lovely from the app. Um, I call this an air conditioner dress. So it allows air conditioning. So I'm thinking I might check in like this because I put so much thought and effort into my outfits. Maybe it's nice to share it with you guys. So maybe you can let me know what you think. Um, questions about this because people always ask this is from an artist residency I did uh, with Thrive last August learning how to use spray paint I was doing it on canvas didn't mind the way that it turned out and this is the hood of a jeep I've actually painted this twice uh, the first time um, it was white and then I did a, the front of a jeep in black and then I switched it I painted it black did the boom box in white I love boom boxes you guys remember the 80s all right, I'm getting ready to go to a friend's birthday party. It's really nice out, it's a Saturday. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, this is today's fit. These are Abercrombie and Fitch. They were actually jeans um, that I bought from Poshmark. They're big, they're like 30s, and I usually only take a 27, so I'm wearing a trusty belt, and then this is a big, oversized, extra large t shirt that I found um, from the gap. It says weekend. So I just style it by going like this. And then I have my Nikes, or uh, sorry, these are Adidas Ultra Boosts, and I found these in the lane also. I'll get to this laundry basket in a second. Um, when people see these, they really, like, they ask me about them because apparently this model is not available anymore. Uh, I go through shoes like crazy because I walk so much. So if I find a decent pair in the lane, I always pick them up. So yeah, speaking of finding things in the lane, that's what this laundry basket is. And I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I already did film this once with my iPad, but I cut off my head. <laughs> I'm wearing a headband just because my hair is just getting... It's going through a weird growth and I don't want to cut it yet. So I left the fireworks last night. Um, I was there with friends and we all left with the crowd. And I thought, I'm going to go against the crowd and walk in the lanes. So I did. I weaved through the crowd, crossed the street, went through the lanes. And in the second lane that I always go to, I found a laundry basket full of clothing. Ironically enough, they have all been washed. I wanted to show you what's inside so that you guys believe me when I tell you that I find things. We did have bins in the area. They were at the fire station. They were safe. People could not get physically inside, but because of that, they started to pry open the bottom and take things, so they have removed them. So we no longer have bins. And since then, I've been finding huge bags of clothes. Like I came home one day with a giant um, hauler, like the big uh, yellow no frills hauler. And I could have, I could only take what I could carry. I could have filled that three times. People are just putting their stuff out at, um, in the lane right next to the garbage can. It's not inside. Please understand, I do not go inside. So this is what we found. This is what's in the laundry basket. These are super cute, right? Um, I'm going to use these in a shoot. I don't know where, what brand they are. Handmade in Mexico. It's just, I don't know, they're so funky. I'm going to use them in a shoot. I have a shoot on Tuesday. Uh, Bodysuit. These first few things I'm sifting through are things I will keep. The rest I will donate. Um, woman of the house. I will donate them to the senior center. They have a store over at Denman Mall where they, uh, it's all run by volunteers and they use the money that they raise by selling things to go back into the senior services. This is black velour. That's really cute. I'm not keeping that. There's all these dresses from Shein. There are three X. So definitely donating these. 
Keep in mind, these are all freshly washed and laundered. I actually tried these dresses on. They're so cute. I like them. The fabric, and they just don't fit though. So I just need like a small or a medium. But, uh, sorry, I can't find the right way. This is, I think, a scarf that somebody, I don't know if it's part of like a sari outfit. It still has a tag on it. It's brand new, really cute. Some old navy sweatpants. I always check wear areas like crotches and armpits. Those are pretty good. This is American Eagle sweater. This is so cute. It's a bodysuit with all of this like detailing on it. Love it. Uh, this is cute. This I thought was wonderful for somebody who's a little bit curvy to wear to a wedding. It's not great. Like, ooh. the brand is ever pretty. This fun, like, look at this uh, Banana Republic top, uh, like, it's a wool hat. It's fun. Old Navy t-shirt, Santa hat, because you know when you're cleaning things out, you clean everything out. Tank top. Another Old Navy t-shirt. Uh, this is an Old Navy blouse. This is a bathrobe. It's so soft. I do not need a bathrobe. So yeah, I only keep what I think I might need or use, but this is Barefoot Dreams, Cozy Life. Freshly laundered. And sometimes if I know that things are something that would be fun for a friend, I keep those aside, just a shirt from Garage. And then another sweater. And the laundry basket is busted, so I probably will recycle it or uh, maybe use it for, uh, we have a little spot in our garbage for cans. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. My fit for the day and my treasure trove from the fireworks. Have a good one.